this is the final call for those that have not filed their boi hey guys so today i'll be showing you guys how you can apply for our boi and like i said boi stands for beneficial ownership information for whoever owns an llc or a corporation that was created before january 1st 2024 you're supposed to file your boi before the end of 2024 to avoid serving time up to two years a fine of 10k or even a fine of 500 dollars per day and then for those that register their businesses or their llc's in 2024 you are given up to 90 days to file for your boi so today i'll be showing you guys how to apply for your boi so we shall come to the FinCEN website. FinCEN is Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. So we shall come and then they will show us what we need and how we can file. Remember, this is only supposed to be done on the FinCEN website. So we shall come here, I'll look for file a report using the BOI e-filing system. So we shall come to here and they will bring us here welcome to the boi e-filing system then here beneficial ownership information reporting here so we shall come to get started and then come here file the boi report select the filing method so you can either prepare a boi by pdf and upload or you can do it online so for me i'll do it online i'll come to prepare and submit online yeah i agree And they'll ask us a couple of questions type of filing since i'm filing for the first time i'll come to initial report then uh date prepared uh this is auto filled so date they'll give us today's date which is december 2nd 2024 Uh, here the Privacy Act and Paperwork Reduction Act Notice got next. Here part one, reporting company information, request to receive FinCEN ID, yes. Legal name and alternative names. So we shall come here to type in our company legal name. I put in my LLC business name. Then we shall scroll down. tax identification type I'll use my business EIN EIN is employment identification number for everyone that has an LLC you know that you're supposed to apply for EIN and that's what you've been using to pay your federal and state taxes for your business so we shall select this option of EIN once we put in our tax id we shall come down here the next is jurisdiction of information of first registration this will require us to put in the country my llc was registered in the usa so we choose usa state of information mine was registered in maryland so we put maryland 
and you scroll down address here is uh, where you type in your address so we shall come here type our address type our address then after that we shall come to company applicant company applicant this means individuals connected to the company like for me this is my single person owned llc so they'll only need information from me so that's what i'll put in today here existing reporting company so we shall come to company applicants since our company was registered before january 1st 2024 like you see here they say that check this box if the reporting company was created or registered before january 1st 2024 do not check the box if the reporting company was created or registered on or after january 1st 2024 reporting companies that check this box are not required to report any company applicants proceed to part three we are not required to fill part two part two is for only companies that were registered after uh, January 2024. In that case, we shall look for path three. Since, like, we're not allowed to fill here, so we shall look for path three. And where is path three? We shall come to path three. Path three, Article 25 says, parent or guardian information instead of a minor child. So here like if here yeah, if the applicant is a minor who is like below 18 their parent is supposed to take here and then after that they'll fill all this information but since i'm the owner and i'm an adult i'm not required to take here this box on 35 so we shall look for the appropriate place to fill our information here item 36 says reporting companies may provide a FinCEN identifier for a beneficial owner instead of item 37 through 51 enter the FinCEN ID as a single text string if a FinCEN ID for the beneficial owner is not provided information about the beneficial owner must be provided in fields 37 through 51 so for me since it's my first time filing for this i don't have a fincen id so i'll have to fill everything from 37 to 51 so guys let's come here at 37 and this is where we shall start everything what do they tell us here they say check this box box 37 check this box if the beneficial owner holds its ownership interest in the reporting company exclusively through one or more exempt entities and the name of the ex of that exempt entity or entities are being reported in the lieu of the beneficial owner's information if checked provide the legal name of the exempt entity in field 38 but for us since we are not exempt we shall come here to legal name and all this other information so i'll have to come put in my information a last name first name if you have a middle name put it here date of birth address like put in your current address city then come down here to form of identification and issuing jurisdiction form of id normally we use driver's license so you come to state issued driver's license if you use a passport do the same and if you're a foreigner and you don't have a driver's license but you have your foreign passport then you can use your foreign passport or maybe if you have uh, a set id which is not a driver's license you also come to this option then then you come to identifying document number this is driver's license number country state 
and then upload a document of your id here then come to next so guys after we are done putting in all our information we shall come to the last part we shall have to put in our email confirm email first and last name then we shall scroll down agree confirm that we are human and not bots and then after that we shall submit once we get here once we confirm that we are humans and not bots that's when we shall come to submit boi and then once we're done submitting they'll give us this confirmation of submission so it's submission status confirmation don't forget to download transcript for closing the page so we shall come to download the transcript so once you're done downloading the transcript so guys that's how you file for your boi thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up so that you don't miss any other new videos that will be coming up